never seen this. This is called a wreath rail. And what that means is the sign or the design is connected to the base. And this part down here is where we're gonna put all the mesh and stuff that you would like on a wreath. So um, I like to use this top rail and here's the bottom rail. I don't put anything here. This is kind of the gap that uh, is a buffer between all your stuff and then the sign so it doesn't cover it. If I put um, ties right here, we probably wouldn't see half of the wording. So. Oh, I gotta plug my, uh, I'm, I am gonna add ornaments because I have pink and I have gold. Don't fall. So I'm gonna plug the glue gun in. Um, do I have another stick of glue? Well, maybe not. Babe, do I have any glue sticks out there? I'm looking, I have no more glue sticks. We, oh look, I have one, Ooh, and they're the fat ones. Let me take that one out just in case. Okay. So I just take my pie cleaners and I fold them in half like this, so they're like a V. And I'm gonna start on the ends. Are you good on the glue sticks? Yeah, I found one, so I'll be fine. And I have to tell you, I have a broken nail and mama had no time to do anything to get them done. I only had time to get my hair done. Um, and we had a busy weekend with the kids, so it is what it is. So if you see my broken nail, whatever. <laughs> <clears throat> so happy Monday, how are you? Thank you, I did, I chopped it. I love it, messy and uh, like wind blown was what I said. And I, anytime I get my roots done, cause I have to get my roots done, they're really great. Um, I don't wash it for a few days cause I don't want to wash out this stuff. So, um, I'm, I normally do five across. Um, I think I'm going to do two on the bottom. I don't know. Excuse me, let me see. That was five across. I'm just gonna do that because I'm gonna load it up with all kinds of other stuff. I'm just gonna do that. I am going to, so I posted a picture earlier today about the um, which designs or which one, this one or the other project. I'm gonna do this one today and then the next time I go live, um, I will do the other project. So I'm gonna use uh, the same mesh and then um, the rail is up here this one so it has red red plaid here so I pulled out some Christmas stuff and then black and white check leopard and then polka dots so we're gonna do that one I will not be in the shop tomorrow Amelia has to do a makeup test um, she timed out so she has to refinish her uh, reading test I think it is and uh, she has to do that tomorrow. So I will be home because she has to log in from Zoom. So that's what it is. Hi, Jen. Hi, Paula. Hi, Linda. Okay, so I love the 30 inches. Um, so let's do that. My cutter's right here. Um, no mail today, so... We have a ton of stuff that's going out tomorrow. This is 10 inch mesh at 30 inches. And I need five of them. So I uh, sent an email out to my wait list for the rethrow club um we have i'm just gonna let you guys know we have some boxes open or some uh, boxes left over from the club for a limited purchase while supplies last as soon as they're gone they're gone if you don't want to sign up for the membership out oh, but you want to get um boxes from the past if richard richard can you find that and post it <laughs> um 
I just go into the store and I look up Rethrow Club. Put in club if you want to search the store. So if you want to buy the month's past, you can get that without signing up. Okay, so here's my first one. I put them in the ends. I did this really quick. And I will go and show you how I did that. Yay, Kathy. Hi, Rachel. Hi, Sue. So take the end, see how it's naturally curly this way? Roll it in. It work comes, I say one full roll, but it's about twice. Because you can see the ends curled up and then scrunch it down the middle. And I like to do the ends and the middle and then put the other two middle ones here kind of on top of those ones. Okay. Yes, woohoo, Kathy. That is so awesome. That first cha-ching is like the angels singing from above, like, ah. <laughs> okay there we go and then I'm taking oops I just uh, undid my twist tie Ooh, I pulled too tight taking the um, ruffle and bringing the two pieces together so it's like that Instead of being an hourglass, they're more spread open. Hi, Damon. I'm working on it. <laughs> Work in progress. So this one I'm gonna put on top of the other ruffle and kind of bring it forward so it adds more dimension right there. Richard's asking a question, which do you collect more of? Um, ribbon, hello. Always ribbon, hi Marty. Oops, roll it, roll it, scrunch it. Now, if you don't know how to do this, I've done past videos where I do it on the table to show you. I just wanted to get this um, done quickly. And it's okay that I do it like that. So, there we go. Get it in the twist tie and then open this up. I think I put that down funky, but that's okay. Yep, I put it upside down. That's why. I was like, why isn't this laying right? Oh, because it's upside down. I love this mesh. This black and white is so fancy. Look at that. So this is what I was talking about. See how it's kind of poofed up a little bit instead of being flat? Hi, Bruce. Hi, Beverly. Rachel, if you, uh, Richard, if you want to post a link, I don't know what that link was, babe. Richard is my husband in case anybody wants to know. So if you hear me calling him babe, he's just not some random dude. That's Mr. Gustafson. <laughs> <laughs> so if you want to search the store, if you're on your computer or the, your um, phone, go to the search and type in club. It'll bring all the listings. I listed them as the box set. So... Okay, this is what I like to do. I like to see what ribbon I'm going to use for the tails. And we have a lot of black and white already, right? But, ooh, honestly, how can you go wrong with these two right here? That matches, but that also matches. I think I'm gonna save this for the, the bow. And we're just gonna put, uh, uh, these two as the ribbon tails and now it's getting all tangled up here so when I do this is a full-size wreath rail which is it's either 18 inches or 20 inches and the size difference is because 
It depends on the design and how big we can get it on there because uh, the rail is 20 inches this way, but depending on how big this is and how we cut it out, that's what the size is. Um, I think I'm gonna do two of these. I have enough because I have more up here. So, um, so this is a full size. I like to do my ribbon tails at 14 inches. So I'm gonna do, um, I need eight of them. And the reason is I did five ties, but one place is where the bow is gonna be. So I'm not gonna do ribbon tails there. So I'm only gonna do uh, tails on four of them. And then this is our ribbon tail board. You can see it has the handle. I get the ribbon started and then I'm using the handle. What is that? Four, five, six, barely seven, right to seven. Holy cow. Look, it's right there. How perfect is that? And then I'll cut one more for the eight because we're putting two of these on there. So slide this off. And then there's that one. Well, FedEx is still running today. I don't even know if we have FedEx out there. Hi, Marianne. Yay, Leslie, I just saw your email right before uh, I started the live. That was bizarre. So Leslie had ordered something, I think it, I think it shipped on the 30th, December 30th, either the 30th or the 31st, and they had not updated it. It looked like it was still in Las Vegas. So we have to file the missing mail, right? They did not reply back to the missing mail search, but they updated the tracking, and now it's, I think it's in Kentucky. So that's just something totally crazy that was still hanging out there. So if you guys order from us, I promise you that we do not do the labels before uh, we ship. Because one, we have to weigh it to see what the weight is, right? Because every order is different. No two orders are the same. Um, oh, I need one more of these. So, when we print a label and you get the notification, it goes out that day, or if we miss the pickup or they didn't show up, it goes out the next day. And then one more of these. So if it says it's in Las Vegas, something is happening. Okay, so there's my eight of those. This is gonna be so cute, you guys. I know I dropped some things. So put this, um, I'm gonna use that for the bow. Oh, Marianne, I hope you feel better. Um, and then four of these. Now, since there's only four, this is something that I, I showed you guys last time. Instead of cutting it, I'm just going to fold this over and do my dovetails right here. When you do that, make sure that you are um, getting both of the layers in there and cutting it to where it's um, cutting it off and they're all disconnected, right? Yeah. Okay, there's that. And then we'll save that for the bow. We don't need this anymore. So we take the black and white the leopard, another black and white, laid on top, fold it in half, line up your ends. Dang, Christy, eee! Pinch the middle, and then um, we're just gonna put them in the ties here. So are you guys still working on Valentine's or have you moved on? Then I pinch it to where they're coming up like this and then just spread it apart. Like this. How cute. So now before I do the others, um, I think I'm gonna put the bow right here. So what I do is I take this, I kind of just twist it off a few times. I cut mine, you can tuck it in. Um, I just cut it so it's like a little nub. 
and that's where the bow is going to go. So we're going to have this big gap right here. And then um, we'll just put the tails here. Spring and Easter. I think, I think everybody's just like, we sold those three Valentines and we, I can tell you, we are still selling all kinds of stuff like the wreath rails for you guys to make. I don't know if you guys are doing craft shows or, um, you know, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's happening out there, but we're selling, we're still selling Christmas. We're, we sold some Halloween this weekend. Um, all, all the Valentine's, um, not too much on the St. Patrick's Day, but all the Valentine's, uh, the spring and the Easter, you guys are loving. And I have some new designs that we're coming out with. Tomorrow when I'm at home, I will probably be working on the, uh, some of those new designs to get them done. It's just time consuming. If you guys have ever designed anything, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And then if you have, you know, interruptions, it's even worse. So here I'm just opening up the ribbon tails. Now, since the bow's right here, these ribbon tails are going this way and these ribbon tails are going this way. And then these other ones we can just open up. Oh, this looks so cute. Hi, Bob. Bob is my dad's buddy. Him and my dad play uh, Farkle in the garage at home. Two retired vets. <laughs> it, Christy, it is going fast. Okay, so it's, you know, 2021, and we're talking about Valentine's, Spring, and Easter. And then, of course, there's Patriotic. Got to get busy on that. I sell Patriotic stuff year-round. Year-round. And I think it was a little bit more this year because of the election. Uh, you know, being election year, but still a lot of patriotic people still representing. Okay, so here's all the ribbon tails. I think this looks cute. Let me turn it around. That's what it looks like. Um, now we got to do the tubing, which is here. I did look through, you know, I didn't look through my tub either, darn it. I did look through um, my cubbies right here. I didn't have any pink, not enough anyways. So find your ends. Here's one, where's the other one? Show yourself, there it is. <laughs> put it on the floor. So I am gonna put both of these in here. Let me, and I sorted this out earlier, that's why it's like, oh, organized because this was a little bowl of spaghetti and it was all messy I couldn't have it so I did go through it so I'm gonna try and keep this let me put it on there so we need um, you know what I should see if I have gold in here I have yellow but do I have gold hello I just dropped my box Let's put three tubing on here. Or, hold on, let me see. That's a lot of black and white. How about pink? And I'm gonna put the black and white away. Just bear with me while I make a mess. And pick this up. It dropped all my little berries. Oh, Bummer. Let me move these out of the way before I step on them. This is what fell. <laughs> oh my God. Look, stuff happens. It's okay. Oh, I'm just bending down, trying not to hurt myself. Oh. Okay, um, gold. I did have a little bit of pink in there, but not enough. Here's some gold. I'm gonna do it. Ooh, that's really bright gold. Oof, that's okay. So one pink and one gold in each one here. 
So um, I'm just gonna leave this right here. We'll just have to deal with it. Get the pink back. So there's a lot of black and white and we're adding the pink. Now the gold is gonna be like the uh, tiebreaker here and then bring in the color from the sign. And I love my tubing at 22 inches, so that's what I'm doing. One more cut of the pink, and then I'll need to finish with the gold. So I have four pink and two gold. So let's do this. There we go. I was trying to keep it all nice and neat. Um, I don't think it's going to fit back in there. What's in here? I'm just going to put it in there. Okay. Whew. That was a lot, guys. Pat, we actually have tubing in the shop, too. So, Paula, I have, um, I'm working on being approved to sell Marines. They're actually the easiest um, one out of all the branches to apply for the license. So um, we are working on that. And basically everybody has to have a license to sell anything for the military. Um, so don't get yourself in trouble. There's two different licenses. There's the hobbyist license and there's the uh, like business crafter license basically so I am working on it Ooh, I love this look at that look at how cute just a little gold just to break up that all that black and white and the pink is so soft that it's just it's not overwhelming so take your two ends of your tubing I go like this bring it together and then bring that piece together and then right here where I'm holding it, it's going to go in the tie. And then after I get this tied off a few times, we're not going to put anything else in there. Um, I'm going to put ornaments on here. I go to the base and I'm pinching it up so the tubing is coming up and out of there. If you don't have any ornaments, I take the pipe cleaner and I just like loop it around my finger and make a little curly cue right there. So it's not uh, just, you know, hanging out in the air. Hi, Ladine. We already have Easter up. We have quite a few Easter. Um, we've been selling Easter since uh, December. Thank you, Susan. So, and then once we are approved to sell Marines, you actually apply and purchase the little holographic decals. Um, so that way people know, hey, this is approved. And then for you guys, if you bought the wreath rails, you would actually have to uh, purchase the crafter or the hobbyist one, which is like, um, uh, you know, a hobbyist one to sell them. So I can, I can sell an actual finished product, but for you guys to resell like our wreath rails, then you would have to have it too. So that's what it looks like. Look at how pretty that gold just breaks up the colors there. And now let's see. Um, let's get out. So I have these here. These are some colored ones from Christmas. And look at how pretty these are. I think I'm just going to do a couple pink ones and a couple gold ones. So that, and then I have these little gold ones here. So that one came from, uh, I, well, that's that's not the container that these came from, but you guys know these are those shatterproof. I don't want that one. These are the shatterproof bulbs from Christmas, and then this one came from Big Lots. Um, ooh, this is gonna be pretty. 
Let me see. Oh yeah. I don't have any black ones. Actually, we put two in there maybe? Yeah, why not? Let's do it up. Okay, so I'm gonna do a pink because the pink is a little bit bigger than the, um, Yep, we're just gonna do that. So a pink and a gold. And so what I do with them, uh, this is what, so you have the pipe cleaner sticking out, right? I'm gonna take my, um, hi Gus, Gus is walking around, or limping around. I'm gonna take my wire cutter and I'm gonna make it to where the pipe cleaner is only about an inch, an inch and a half up. I don't need it, it's almost two inches. So when I take my bulb, I'm taking the end off here. Oops, piece broke off. Take some glue and just add it like right on top. Ooh, a lot came out. Ooh, it's still coming out. Stop it. Right on that hole because you're gonna take this and slide it right over the pipe cleaner. So you've seen them. You can buy them like that. You can buy to where it's a pipe cleaner like this or a wire, a wire, and it has the balls on the end. It's kind of the same thing. We're just doing it um, backwards. So take your bulb, take that thing off. I throw them away. Add a little bit of glue right on the hole. So it kind of gets all around. This, this is really hot because it still wants to come out. Don't burn yourself. This is going to go straight on the end of that pipe cleaner and slide it down. And then kind of twist it around. Richard, Gus needs to go outside, babe. And this is what it's looking like. How cute is this right here? So, uh, I don't want to hold it up. I don't want it falling off, but look at that. Okay, I'm gonna just trim the rest of these and get going. And then we're gonna make our house. So you don't have to trim them, but I didn't want them super long. Oops. So take the end off. I am gonna, I don't wanna put the big one there. I'm gonna put it here in the middle. Oh look, this one I've already used. It's kinda, I'm just gonna cut that off. It already has glue on it. I used to make ornament wreaths on a wire hanger way back in the day. And that's probably what that is from. I think he needs to go outside. Okay. And then put that, because the ornament has that hole in there, it slides right over it. Oh. And then just kind of twirl it around a little bit. I'm gonna put this smaller one, this is like a medium one, I'm gonna put the smaller one here, just in case the bow is, uh, covers it a little bit. Ooh. Oh, thank you guys. Yeah, Gus is still not doing so hot. I really don't want to talk about it because it makes me really sad, so. But thank you. Oh. I just cut that thing and it flew open. <laughs> he, he just was at the door. This one also had glue on it, so I'm just clipping it right off. Slide this on there. Wiggle it, slide it around. Um, you want it to touch other things so it doesn't come off. Oh. And then move this around a little bit. 
should be okay. I'm just gonna make sure that they're on there or not. Like that is not moving. And then separate that tubing a little bit. Ooh, this is so cute, you guys. Ah! Okay, this is what it's looking like. Look at how cute. We still have to put the bow on there. How fun is that? Now, if you wanted to add more, let me show you. I'm just gonna, where's that pipe cleaner I had? You wanna add more, get your um, pipe cleaner, come up from the behind and come through the rail. You're gonna probably kind of either go through the um, mesh or move the mesh to the side and you're gonna have this sticking out and do the same thing. Get your balls, your ornaments, glue it, you know, take that piece off, glue it, and then you're gonna have more sticking out. You don't have to just do it right where I put the ribbon tails. That is another little trick that you can do for other designs um, if you wanna add some more stuff to it. Okay, so I'm gonna make a bow. I am going to use my uh, spool board here. I am gonna start with my, um, with my four inch. So the board is, the board is 12 inches from end to end. So I'm gonna use that as my guide here. And this is four inches, so it is really wide. So I'm just gonna do my little thing right there. And then from the middle to the end is about six inches. So I'm gonna use that as my other guide from here to the end. So there's my, my one loop. And the same thing going this way. And then bring it down. Ooh, this is so cute. This got all twisted. Bring my tails up. Okay, there's that. And then everything else is two and a half inch. So I think I'm gonna do, am I gonna do that one next? No, let's do the pink one next. Thanks guys. So the same thing, I'm just gonna use the, um, you can do it this way and figure it out or line it up with the other side. Just gonna do a few loops for each one or two loops for each one. Still six inch. Now this pink is a different color pink. It is way brighter, but it has that gold and it's gonna bring all of those colors together. I don't want you guys to be afraid to use colors just because it doesn't exactly match. Pink is pink, right? You have light pink, dark pink, and this is gonna look so cute together the black and white. Actually, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna line this up with the pegs here. I'm gonna say it's five inches. I don't even know. You guys know I don't measure. <laughs> Sorry. It is what it is. and then finish it with the leopard. Yay, Carol. Oh, Susan, you're so sweet. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Now this ribbon is down to probably the end and look, it's like, can you see that, how curly that is? What's happening here? <laughs> Oh my. I'm gonna do this layer the same as the black and white, kind of measure it to the dowel here. And then I'm gonna do one little, uh, little baby loop. Ooh, it is really curly. Um, and that's, my pink is down here, so put that down there. Okay, 
Now open that. Um, I didn't take out an extra pipe cleaner. What? And I gotta find another black. There we go. Oh. oh, come on. Take two pipe cleaners. I just fold them over like this, twist them off, make a super long one. I don't even know if they make super long pipe cleaners. So pipe cleaners are generally 12 inches. So this would be probably what, 22 inches? Cause if we overlap it a little bit, maybe 23 inches. Make sure everybody is in the tie here. Twist it off. I should have probably made sure that was up more. Eh, that's okay. There we go. That top one is super curly, so it's uh, not wanting to be hate. Okay, take your bow come through. I always, oops, I always push through the mesh to the bottom rail. Look at how my hand is in the back. I have my fingers back here. I'm kind of uh, lining them up with where I'm poking the um, pipe cleaner through. And the same thing with the other one as I'm laying it down. I know it looks weird, but if you have your hand back down there and you're kind of bringing your two hands together, through the mesh and through the wreath rail, it'll, um, you'll be able to feel it. Sometimes when you're doing the uh, poke through and you're using wide foil, uh, it's hard to poke through the wide foil, so you just gotta play with it a little bit. Okay, so this is without, oh my gosh, how cute. Without tying it, I'm still holding it back here with my hand, look at it but I want to hold this up and make sure that my bow is not pointed towards the ground. So I pulled it kind of tight and I'll let it up a little bit so it comes out, but look at how cute. If you know someone that loves the black and the white and the pink and the leopard, I mean, you can't go wrong with this one. And then I'm just gonna twist this off still. So I hold it up and I'm looking down, making sure my bow isn't pointed down and it's out where I want it to be. I can kind of see it on the camera too, or you hold it up like this to yourself and then uh, fluff it a little bit. Man, this is cute. I mean, you already know I love pink. Oh, pass. Nope, nope, nope. Tell them, don't be laying on my tubing, bud. <laughs> okay. Everything's picked up. You can't lay on anything. <sighs> um, spread this out. I really want that pink right there. Oh, I think that's so cute. Oh! Look at how cute. No, he just uh, went under the cord and pulled it off. So here's the um, bow, he's fine, honey. And the pipe cleaner, so I'm gonna clip it off to where it's like two inches, like that, and then this, you're just gonna tuck it back inside. You don't want any uh, scratchy pieces out here, okay? And then, get your mesh. and then now we're gonna fluff this out. I, I think I want the pink out, maybe like that. Yep, I'm just gonna leave it like that. Um, I'm just gonna roll up, since this leopard print is pretty uh, like uh, curly, wrinkly, I don't know. I'm not even gonna cut the ends, I'm just gonna roll it up. I think this is gonna be cute. Make it a little bit fatter, a little bit fatter roll. And then the rest of these dovetail. How fun. Orange front door.
I think you can add whatever you want. So that pink is like a coral pink on the sign. And I think, honestly, take your ribbon, what, oh, whatever your ribbon is, and hold it up and see if that's how you want to, uh, if that's what you want to order, or order, if that's what you want to add. I'm just going to take a little dab of glue, ouch, onto the four inch ribbon and fold that up. Another little dab without uh, burning myself. And then just make that a little bit curly. Oh, now I get a spider web. And my cord came out. The same thing here. I'm folding it up just like half an inch, maybe a little bit less. And just put a line of glue to where it makes that base and then fold it again. Oh, there's glue right there. I don't want to burn myself. Yep. And then another little dab just in the middle so it stays. Perfect. And then bring that up. I don't want that pink to be hidden. Maybe I'm gonna roll up the black a little bit too, just so the pink doesn't get hidden behind it. Ooh, so cute. No, I don't like it like that. How fun. Okay, I'm gonna hold it up. This one, we did not add any holes to it. I will have to, um, Put a cable tie mount on there and then normally when i hang it up that's when i like to fluff it and i'll move things around see if if it's how i want it to be but this is what it looks like you guys there is all the pieces even the gold everything came to together isn't that fun